when we wake up in the morning, for the next eight hours, the body is on phase two. Phase two is the elimination mode. Mm -hmm. Phase one is the reparation mode. Phase two is the elimination. So you have eight hours to break your fast and empty the trash bin. What the bankers did, they turned it into a meal. Mm. They call it a, a breakfast. But it's a break fast. It is the breaking of the fast. So you read any book on anatomy and scientific literature on how the digestive system works and fasting is going to tell you it is totally unscientific to break a fast with bacon and eggs, hash brown, brown stewed chicken, dumpling, <laughs> macaroni, hash brown, you know, corned beef hash, you know. I uh, can't saw fish. I can't saw fish, uh, granola, oats. Cereal. With milk, cereal. It is, it is totally unscientific. Bagel, biali, coffee, all of that stuff is totally unscientific to break a fast like that. By eating foods that are not going to facilitate elimination. the elimination, you're postponing the elimination confrontation. Mm. By eating that way. By eating foods that are building foods, starches and protein are building foods. That's not the time of the day to put in building materials in the body. You want to facilitate or cooperate with the elimination. What are the foods that are going to really make elimination work? Liquids and fiber. You want to come in in the morning and hose out the digestive system. You want to sweep it, mop it, scrub it, scrape it, clean it out before you put in any building material. So ideally in the morning, fruits, fruits, 100% fruits. So you want water from fruits, juices, fruit juices. The first thing in the morning is your internal shower, coconut water. We know about the external shower, we, we up on that. You want crystal clear water that's going to flush out, wash out, clean out, and hydrate. And provide us with an electrical charge so that we can step. <laughs> you know, we can step and also it's like inner acupuncture, coconut water. It's like needles and pins. You feel it in the morning coming right into everywhere of the body and it's pulling toxins out, replacing it with oxygen. So the, the, the three, uh, what I would call master food groups. Number one, sunshine. You must live where the sun shines, especially if you have melanin. You have to yam enough sun. <laughs> you need vitamin D. But of course, we can't jump up and grab a bite of the sun. So we get the sun condensed. We get the sun condensed. So these are all, all these colors, these are condensation of sunshine. We like to get our greens. Our food should be colorful. Our food should be reflection of the sunshine. So your greens, your reds, your golds, your oranges, your purple, your blue. Nutrients, substance come in colors. So one of the first books that I read that really pushed me was a book that was called From Plan to Planet. The author was Haki Madabuti. And the main thing he pointed out you need to get off of all white food, white sugar, white flour, <laughs> white rice, you name it, white potato, everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Everything white, except the nectar fruits, the, the, the ones that, that have water and essence in them. So we're talking soursop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're talking soursop. You know, you have your soursop. We, we keep, we keep soursop. You keep enough soy sauce growing all the time. Your soy sauce. 
And you know, soursop is like the cancer agent today.